How are you guys? Welcome back to Just Shake or Stir with another cocktail today and today we're doing a wonderful tequila cocktail very special for me because first it was discovered in the Mr. Boston official bartender guy edition from 97 for the year I was born. Welcome back guys, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. Glad to see you, glad to see your smiling faces. If you are new to the channel, welcome to Just Shake or Steer. Don't forget you can always subscribe and get notified for the videos if you click the small bell notification all. That's how it's going. Of course, if you're one of my subscribers, welcome back guys, thank you for watching again. Today I will do a cocktail which is kind of a close to my heart because First is discovering the Mr. Boston official cocktail guide release from 1974 and this is the year I was born so it's kind of a close you know sentimental but not only that it's a wonderful cocktail with tequila which I really love and it's came back to life kind of a push back to life by Gary Regan Gas Gary Gas Regan if you don't know who it is, it's a legendary figure in the bartender industry, so you better find out. Just type Gary Gas Regan on your Google search and or ask, ask your smart speaker, whatever it is, and it will tell you everything about it. The guy is legend. So, enough about history. The cocktail really doesn't have clear history where it was created, who is the original creator, what's the story behind it. However, it's one of these wonderful cocktails which is inspired to some point of the classic Negroni. Why? Because it's using Campari bitter and it's using Vermouth Rosso. But there is an, a two additional ingredients, a dry Vermouth and aromatic bitter by Angostura. And of course, it's made with tequila, not with gin. So, should we do it? Let's do it. So the cocktail it's made, uh, as I mentioned, uh, kind of inspired by the Negroni. Negroni is stirred, but here we're gonna do a little shake just for the fun of it. You don't have to, you can just stir it, but I'm gonna give it a very brief, quick shake just to introduce some air to the cocktail to make it more light, airy, and give it a very quick dilution so when we surf over ice it's already gonna be cold and it's gonna stop diluting so you can enjoy it for a longer okay so the cocktail required tequila reposato now I mentioned in one of my video when I did uh, Alcatraz uh, you can check the video obviously in my playlist with the tequila cocktails or with the card which is gonna pop up there's a few different uh, type of tequilas different ages depends how long it's aged that's the name of the tequila. Reposato is between two months and a year. So I'm using today Roster Rojo tequila. It doesn't matter, you can use any tequila as far as Reposato. So 45 ml of tequila going in your shaker. And then we're gonna introduce the vermouths. Right, the Reposato tequila is wonderful for cocktails. I always say it's probably the best of the tequilas when you're using it for a cocktails. It's, it's have a, this lovely kind of aged uh, vanilla and a little bit spice flavor and it's uh, fruity and it's a wonderful thing. So anytime when you do cocktails, for example, if you do margarita, try to do it with Reposato then just Blanco, okay? But personal preference, once more. So both vermouths, now the original recipe, it state it's Martini Rosso and Martini Dry. Uh, nothing against it, I just kind of uh, never have them on my shelves because I like to experience different kind of a vermouths which it's more kind of a Rolls Royce or legendary or the kings of the vermouths and one of these is a vermouth di Torino which it's come uh, of course from Torino when the vermouth is born so 15 ml of the Rosso vermouth and of course 
Then the dry side of the vermouth, uh, that's a very the Rolls Royce of the vermouth, Noili Prat dry vermouth. So from Italy we jump to France to get our dry vermouth, 15 ml of the dry vermouth. So we have here Mexico, Italy, France, then we go back to Italy to introduce our bitter and this is my all-time favorite Campari bitter from Milano, 15 ml as well. So as you can see the bitters and the vermouths they are all the equal measures, 15 ml, only the tequila is 45. So it's basically 3 to 1 ratio. And finally we go to Tobago and Trinidad with the most famous bitters of all times and this is Angostura aromatic bitters, just a dash or two. So one, two. Originally it's required one dash but I like to put another just an extra because I like the aromatic bitters and I like the flavor which is bring to the cocktail. And this is it. Now we're gonna give it a good shake. Drop some ice first inside. Just a brief quick shake, just to dilute quick and give a little bit airness to the cocktail. That's it. You don't need any more of that. Lovely. So, I need some strainer. Double strainer or not? Don't double strain it because usually double strain it's when it's introducing some hard ingredients or juices. However, if you serve straight up, you have to double strain because some of the broken ice is gonna float on the top of the cocktail and it won't look nice, trust me. But because this is served on the rocks or on top of the ice, it absolutely doesn't matter if you double strain it. So old fashioned glass, fill it up with ice and serve your cocktail. And then you have it, Rosita. One left thing to do for us, one only thing left to do. Again, it's uh, recommended to be served with a lemon zest, but I find out it's working better served with a grapefruit zest. I, I think the grapefruit, especially the pink grapefruit, the, the slight bitter from the grapefruit worked fantastic with the Campari and with the vermouth. So, just a zest of pink or just a normal grapefruit, whatever you can find. Now that it's very fatty skin grapefruit, mine, but doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's about to give this lovely just expression of grapefruit zest on the top. Just rim your glass and around so it can go on your fingers and just put it in. It's not about prettiness here, it's about efficiency and about introducing a good flavor. Uh, this one, I think I can easily get rid of this ice. It's a little bit too much. And this is it, the Rosita. Oh, smells fantastic, like straight away you can feel the Pink grapefruit, nothing else to be honest, just hit you in the nose straight away. Oh my, let's put it like that. Like the professionals. That it's a wonderful cocktail. I mean I'm I'm a big fan of a bitter, so that's it. Uh, not just sentimental because when first is discovered the recipe, uh, they are unborn, but because of the complex flavor is just it's just amazing you have this dryness from the noily prat you can feel it combined with the bitter with the campari you got this bitter kick but then you have a really like a set of sweetness coming from the vermouth and finally the warm and like a boozy feel but not like uh, you know i mean it's not like oh it's very strong you can feel it nice and warm from the tequila reposato, but it's very gentle and it very, very lovely. Like a smooth texture when it comes to drinking and with a wonderful citrusy, you know, aroma from the pink grapefruit zest. It's just beautiful. Mm. 
Oh, wonderful guys, wonderful. Rosita, beautiful cocktail. Seriously, try it. If you have these ingredients and they're widely available, uh, that's a beautiful sip. It's a very, it's a sipper, okay? It's a slow sipper, so enjoy it, okay? And there you have it, Rosita guys. My name is George. Thank you for watching Just Shake or Steer one more time. Again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. It's make big difference, make me happy, but make YouTube happy as well. You know what I mean? It's all about this stuff. So it's a wonderful, I hope you can help and give a little boost on this channel because I want it to grow. And uh, if you watch my uh, video, the Benedict cocktail, uh, you probably heard about the news, but just a quick recap. I'm starting documentary behind the bottle when I will introduce different brands to you. Uh, having an interview with the representative of the brand, whoever it is, probably half an hour, nice interview, talk everything about the brand, history, how it's made, everything behind the bottle, what we don't know usually, we just get the bottle, but we don't know anything what's happening behind. And during the interview, I'm gonna make uh, one or two cocktails as well when I'm conducting the interview. And finally, it's gonna be available obviously here only on YouTube. Uh, I don't know yet what kind of a format it's gonna be, but I think it's it will be depends on how many brands I have lined up. It will start with once a month and then maybe came twice a month. Depends of how many brands I can have forward on my schedule to take the interviews because it's difficult. It's not just that easy to, to get in touch with everyone and just organize the interviews. But however, it's happening. So also it will be available on a podcast. I'm working on this as well. Apart from that, thanks for watching once more. Thanks for being supporter of Just Shake or Steer and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Die. Mm.